Hello tennis guys and tennis ladies and welcome to my channel. Today is the Technifiber day and today I will put these new TF40s into the quality control test. My favorite test, one of my favorite videos. I always like it so you can find a couple of quality control test videos even on the Wilson Clash V2 on my channel. And why I am today so excited? Because I'm obviously a Technifiber guy. I'm the ambassador for the Czech Republic. I like Technifiber. I like the clothing. The clothing is fantastic. It's actually Lacoste quality. So Lacoste is making for Technifiber the clothing, the design. So amazing, amazing value, amazing quality. So if you want one of the best clothes on the market and great looking look at that look at the t-shirt the polo it's just fantastic so look for technifiber and today i have here the tf40s the newest versions and i'm so excited because the tf40 was released i believe three years ago in 2019 and it was the best-selling tennis racket from Technifiber. Why? Because the TF40 is an anniversary special, let's say, special edition. And the name for the rackets celebrates 40 years or over 40 years of Technifiber of this French tennis brand or this French uh, racket brand on the market. So these are the, the anniversary rackets second generation and what's great about them they have four versions now to offer the 16 by 19 string pattern and 18 by 20 string pattern with a 305 gram version and 315 gram version before that there were only two versions the 305 and 315 with a 18 by 20 pattern now you can choose the patterns and the weight which is fantastic i think more more rackets from other brands should be made like this that you can actually choose the string pattern because sometimes the weight of the rackets is great but the string pattern is not so great i believe more people like to play with the 16 by 19 and sometimes you get the 315 gram versions of other rackets from other brands only with that 18 by 20 pattern for example and not many people tend to like it so i have here the scale i have here the balance board and of course the swing weight machine which will be the highlight in today's video and i have also the numbers are from tennis warehouse with me so we can compare the swing weight so guys technifiber number one man tennis player daniel medvedev plays with technifiber isn't it crazy it's like lewis hamilton winning f1 championship with renault formula it sounds just amazing and i'm so excited to put these rackets to the test but these rackets are not the rackets that Daniel Medvedev endorses he plays with the T5 305 RS this is the racket he plays with or he endorses but the TF40s are actually a little bit more comfort oriented but with great performance smaller head size it's a 98 inch head and I've played with them for a couple of hours and they are great, they are great, but too demanding for me. I can play with them really good, like for one hour maybe, and then I get tired because the swing weight is higher than I would like to uh, have on a tennis racket. So we will start with the TF40 305, 16 by 19, which I believe will be very popular very popular so i will of course document once again the numbers with my mobile so you can see it you can have the proof 
So the 305 gram version with strings should weigh around, I believe, 321 gram. Oh. Oh. 326. 326. So I'm surprised. Guys, it's maybe five gram more than it should have. Not good. Too heavy. So, picture is there. Now the balance. So the balance for this racket is, I believe, 320 or 315. No, 325. Yep, demanding rackets, guys. 325 on a 305 gram racket. So lots of, lots of, let's say, heavy, heavy head weight. And I can see it that the balance is even more to the head. Yeah, of course, it's with strings, so it's 300 and... Three hundred and thirty. Three hundred and thirty. So not that bad, not that much to the head. Come on, focus. Focus. Three hundred and thirty. So it should be three hundred and thirty-five actually. So it's balanced a little bit more to the hand. <clears throat> and now the swing weight is something we are waiting for and I believe this version will have 325 I will tell you the numbers from Tennis Warehouse so the numbers from Tennis Warehouse for this version are 321 oh I forgot to write down the balance so the balance was 330 And now let's measure the swing weight. Three twenty-six. Lots of swing weight for a three hundred and five gram racket. Actually, so yeah, not bad. So three hundred and twenty-six. That's five points more than on the tennis warehouse website. But yeah, it can happen. Now we are going for the 305, 305 and 18 by 20 pattern. I will measure it this way because it stands quite easily. 328. Whoa, it's even more. Exactly 328, guys. That's even more. So 328, I believe 328 gram is really too much because as I said before it's 305 and with the strings yeah it's, it's, it's a denser uh, pattern so maybe it is possible to, to, to have it like around 323 but 328 is once again let's say five gram more now the balance the balance once again should be 335 or let's say 336 337 if we consider that it has uh, more strings on it and it looks like that so it looks nope sorry it looks it looks like 330 no it's 330 once again 
So the balance is once again 330. And need to document it. And finally, the swing weight. The swing weight, according to Tennis Warehouse, is 328. Yeah, it is possible. Once again, more strings, more weight in the head. <clears throat> wow, 326. So the swing weight is the same. Nice job. Looks good. 326. So 326, 326. Not bad at all. I believe the 325, 326 is perfect for these rackets. So now I will have the 315 version, the 16 by 19 string pattern. three thirty seven point eight so almost three thirty eight like the previous version okay three thirty seven point eight so it looks like the quality control is at least for these uh versions is very similar now the balance the balance is unstrung 310 strung it should be let's say 320 and of course it depends what type of strings do you have but i believe the strings they don't play as a bigger role it's maybe one two three gram and it's all over the head so yeah the balance should be shouldn't be that much different wow what's happening wow wow whoa, 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 whoa. this looks like guys this looks like 314 so it's balanced more to the handle to the grip 314 or 315 I, I can't yeah maybe 315 yeah once again picture it 315 and now the swing weight the swing weight for this version should be lower obviously because of course it has the the, the most weight but the balance is 310 unstrung so it's heavily balanced to the hand and according to tennis warehouse the swing weight is 313 310 310 so aren't you surprised 310 for a 315 gram racket with a small head it's quite surprising but that's it how it is it's uh, uh, these rackets the, the heavy the heavy the really heavy rackets tend to have lower swing weight because of the balance that is how it is uh, but at the end if you play with the records you will feel that it is heavy because the the static weight is just higher so guys now i have a mistake here 337.8 so now we have the 315 gram version 18 by 20 
338 great once again so I'm surprised that the, the weight of the records for each of the versions is almost it's almost identical great job great job from Technifiber now the balance Once again, it should be around 320. Nope, it's... It once again around 315 or 314, which is once again similar to the previous generation, uh, to the previous version, sorry. Yeah, this one it looks like 314. 314. 314. And now the swing weight. So the swing weight for this version was measured by Tennis Warehouse at 315. So it's logical, it should be higher because there's more string in the racket. More string in their head, more weight. So 315, it's possible. 313, so now it's 313. So yeah, not 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 a not a, not bad numbers at all. I believe the numbers are quite nice for these records. So guys, let's sum it up. Let's sum it up. These beautifully crafted the design is fantastic the the quality of the of the finish of the material is really great is really great it's much better than than with the let's say older versions and older records from technifiber so the design is really beautifully crafted i like the colors i like these these little small small bumps this this uh, let's say yeah this texture on this side and yeah looks great looks great and of course it feels great because they are in injected with a foam so inside the frame there is a foam and the feel is so plush it's like hitting a ball with a pillow so yeah that's one of the highlights of these records but let's sum up the numbers so i started the 305 gram version uh, the 16 by 19 string pattern so the weight the strong weight is 326 actually it should be about 327 or 3 uh, sorry 321 or 322 if we consider if we take into account that the strings weight around let's say 16 to 17 gram so maybe the record is three three four maybe three four five four five gram heavier than it should be the balance although is 330 strung and unstrung is 325 so the balance is let's say five millimeters more to the hand because once again with strings the balance um, changes approximately about one centimeter but this time it's changed only half centimeter only five millimeters or maybe it is balanced a little bit more to the hand uh, the swing weight although the swing weight is 326 and measured by tennis warehouse was only 321 so the swing weight is actually pretty high it's five points higher than on the tennis warehouse website coming to the 18 by 20 version the weight for the racket was 328 so that's five six seven gram heavier than it should be so guys if you if you want uh, the racket to have the way the real way so just ask at the store you, when you buy the racket 
that they measure the racket for you and they send you exactly the weight uh, you want. Uh, the balance for the 18 by 20 version once again 330 so the same balance and the swing weight the same swing weight 326 so perfect swing weight for both versions uh, both for the 16 by 19 and 18 by 20 version although the 18 by 20 should have swing weight a little bit higher so yeah great job and uh, now we have the 315 versions so the 315 versions so the 16 by 19 pattern 337.8 gram once again if we have a 315 unstrung then strung it should be let's say uh, plus 16 16 grams so around 331 so it's around six maybe seven gram more it's heavier so in this in this uh, in the weight uh, category the rackets tend to be heavier which for some can be a plus but for many of course can be a minus the balance is 315 with strings without string it's 310 it should be about let's say 320 so yeah once again five millimeters balanced less to the hand but we need to take into account that the different head shapes and head sizes and and other things they make the difference because yeah it's a smaller head what does it mean less string than with the 100 inch version so maybe the five millimeters five seven millimeters is possible the swing weight is 310 measured by tennis warehouse was 313 so quite similar now the 18 by 20 version it weighs 338 gram with strings so it's really once again similar like with the 16 by 19 version but as i said before the 18 by 20 has more string in it so it should be heavier the balance is 314 so very similar to the 315 of the 16 by 19 version and the swing weight is 313 compared to the 315 of tennis warehouse so yes i mean in terms of the swing weight the numbers are quite similar in terms of the weight the rackets tend to have more weight let's say from four five six maybe even to seven gram more than they should have so is is this is this a really bad let's say quality control i mean usually i feel that the bad quality quality control for a kid is that is, is when they are uh, lighter when they are much lighter because i feel like if you pay for a racket that way that should weigh 305 then why you should get a 300 gram racket so that there's less less graphite less material less cost of the racket so it's like when you buy a beer in a pub you would like to to have more beer in the glass rather than less beer in the glass it's it's, it's logical and with these rackets you actually uh, gain more weight uh, in in the first case in the 16 by 19 string pattern for the 305 gram version you you actually gain five more swing weight points but with the other versions it's almost identical like with the tennis warehouse numbers so uh, yeah this quality control test for the new tf40s went let's say semi good semi good something is good something is not good 
but I would not consider it as a something really bad because you actually gain you actually have more of weight in these rackets and yeah why not you can just maybe then fiddle a little bit with the balance to have it balanced like you want but the rackets feel quite similar to each other regardless the string patterns so yeah not bad I would rate this quality control test let's say 3 plus so yeah 3 plus because yeah I like the swing weight not bad I don't I don't like the weight although this is the be better variant of the way that they have more weight than less weight and the balance is like yeah it feels like the balance is quite okay if we consider the smaller head size so yeah three plus for this quality control of these technifibers definitely it could be better much better but yeah it's life mistakes happen even on the manufacturing side even with the newest versions of the tennis rackets and what can we do we just we just need to stress this out make the rackets better make the rackets like yonex focus on quality don't focus on quantity okay so that's my message for all the tennis racket brands don't focus on quantity i know you want to sell more and more and more but if you want if you sell more and more and more and the rackets will be like shit then finally at the end it will turn against you because no one will buy the shitty products from you so focus on the quality like yonex did and like yonex does and everybody will be happy i can wait for the rackets i don't have them i don't need to have them like in three days if i order them and you say you you, you tell me that yeah we don't have them because they are sold out because we focus on quality and we want to make sure that the rackets are great so you need to wait for the quality and i'm like yes i will wait two two months for the rackets yeah no problem no problem but i want the quality i want the quality and with these technic fibers i'm not let's say overly disappointed but not at all happy so three plus for this quality control and if you like this video please click the thumbs up button if you didn't click the click the thumbs down button and if you want to support my channel just subscribe or buy me a coffee yes you can buy me a coffee and i will enjoy it so thank you guys for watching thank you for commenting on my channel thank you for yeah sharing my videos and i will catch you in my next video enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day bye guys